come from different situations, whether an owner has to give them up because they're moving and the baby is allergic, um, or they come from other shelters where they're at risk for being euthanized. Uh, every animal has a different story and a different scenario, but they all become homeless for one reason or another. Save a pet. Um, we didn't, when we started looking in, 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 uh, into like, you know, what they were about, we found that our chaos came from a house in Texas that was a, that was a hoarding house. Um, she was living in feces, had never been outside, she had never been able to run. Um, and this is a dog that loves to run. And um, she was abused, we had found out also. And um, when they raided the house and took the animals, they, she was then put into a kill shelter. That was the beginning of her life. I mean, we don't have puppies less than eight years old. Oh, okay. They come in, you know. Uh, we have about 100 animals here that we have to care for, so that's always our priority. And um, it's just, it's really tough. It's hand to mouth here. It's not some big rich shelter. We're very small, we're very dedicated, and we do amazing things here. Why do I think it is important to donate to Save a Pet? Because it's part of our community and it's paying back. And we all need to do that. And there are animals that are out in the street that come here and they take care of them and they need all these donations because they're a nonprofit. So they don't they don't get it from the you know the other places. So they rely upon us. It's all love, especially now.